Hey everyone, this is Whoopi Thinks, and today I'm coming at you with Shattered Heaven. Um, this is part of the Steam Next Fest, which runs till February 13th, so it's uh, about a week from when I'm recording this video. Um, I downloaded a bunch of random games, don't know what I'll get around to playing or not, uh, but we're gonna dive into some games. Hopefully we like some of them. Because um, I think for Next Fest, some of the demos are limited time and then they go away or something. So Shattered Heaven, um, I haven't looked into many of these games in depth, to be honest, because um, for those of you who've seen other videos, you know, I like kind of going into some of these things fairly blind. I do know that it's a turn-based card battler, looks kind of like a maybe Darkest Dungeon-y kind of combat, and, and so far as there's like four characters here, four characters there, etc., etc. Um, so with that... Let's dive right in. I assume this is the loading screen and not the story. Yeah, loading screen. Our God is no more. And we, the lowly mortals, are the ones who killed him. Now, the cursed remnants of humanity exist under the perpetual reign of his mournful ashes, condemned to a never-ending circle of hate and resentment. As punishment for our ancestral sin, our breaths are cut short as soon as we hit forty of age. We are barren shells, unable to sleep, the desire to bring forth new life. Our last hope for a better tomorrow lies in a divine forgiveness that only bloodshed can grant us. Four Vestals shall hail from the Four Lands. Sentia, where memories of old still sing. Delham, ever untamed and never bound. Flamen, hearth of steel and spires. And our home, born from thunder and storms. Ashram, in the end, only one pair of soiled hands will hold the salvation we desperately seek. Once every ten years, our somber march to the Equinox Cathedral ushers war in. Kneeling in front of the flame of Vesta, we swear to repent. O oh, ancient sin, stain us in red, so that we may never forget the firmament's grief. O oh, ancient sin, grant us this holy pardon, so that we may one day mend our shattered heaven. It's cool that that intro is voice acted for a demo. I'm not really sure what's going on, is to be honest. The best oh. you can do? Okay, we jump right into battle. Tutorial 1, drawing the cards. The battle has begun to defeat your enemies. You must use cards. I guess Andorra is my character. Um, okay, this is fairly basic. In order to play cards, you need AP. Fine, this is the AP. We start with 2 AP and count at a maximum of 4. Uh, we have 2 AP down here. Great. Most cards have special abilities. You can check a brief description of each card by hovering the cursor over it. Got it. Um, takes their action on their turn. The turns of your character's enemies are grouped in rounds. You can see the order of the turns in the top right corner. Okay. Yeah, let's attack. Use Vorpal Strike to attack the enemy. So this costs one. I'm assuming it's red because it's attack. Overwhelm. Oh, let's see. If I press right click, Overwhelm, single enemy, deal eight damage. Overwhelm, deal two extra damage for each card and skill with Swift played this turn. Okay. The art is... There's something a little off about the models, like this one looks okay, this one I guess maybe it's just because it's a weird thingy. Um, and there's something slightly off about this, but I can't put my finger on it, but maybe that's just me. Uh, oh, that's me. This is the bad guy. You can see the intentions of the enemies. Okay, so he's going to attack. Great. Okay, shield cards. You stand your ground to attack the enemy? Hmm. Okay, what is this? 
Gain 3 armor, heal 2 HP. I'm gonna assume that's like block- Oh, okay, so I can't see exactly how much damage he's gonna do or anything. Okay. Your AP counter has reached zero. Okay. Where's the end turn button? I totally- Oh, there it is. Okay. I guess it's cool that there's voice acting. Enemies can inflict debuffs. Yep. Counter decreases by one. Yep. Okay. One way to counter the debuff is gaining buffs of your own. All the characters can equip skills that can boons and aid you in battle. Try using Andorra's Champion of the Parish skill. Uh, which one is that? It really, really bo- I'm nitpicky about random stuff. It really bothers me. The capitalization of this really bothers me. I hope they fix that. Like, I get the first word is capitalized on all these, but I'm just used to caps. Um, ah, this is flashing. Champion of the Parish, give blessing and armor two to all allies. Okay. Good, if you cannot remove divas, you can always counter their effects. Buffs have their own counter. Okay. Some keywords allow you to play new efficient strategies in battle as fast as possible. You can find them in support cards. The ever chosen have the swift has the swift keyword. Okay, what is this? Swift one, heal to HP. So, do I need to heal? Oh, I guess sure. Swift one card. So that was discarding, right? Okay. Special mechanic. Whenever she uses a card for each gem, she will fill a slot. Once all three slots are filled, she will gain a deity point. Each deity point unlocks special effects during the battle. Once the third point has been reached, the counter is goes back to zero. Okay, what are these gems? Whenever she uses a card for each gem, maybe these are the gems. Okay. Use any card to deal the final... Oh, after all that, I'm just going to win. Okay. <laughs> Can move around the dungeon using wasps or arrow keys or by clicking on an adjacent tile. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's not gonna tell me about all this stuff yet, because there's a lot going on. Alright, next. Nothing? Sometimes during exploration you will come across special events and have to decide which path to take. Outcomes are never fully certain, but you can use descriptions to choose the more profitable option. Select whichever one you want. Um... What? It's a poem. Am I talking to this chick in a tree? Gain loot and... Let's... let's... and... You gain some loot... Oh! And I lose 5% of my max HP. Great! Again, it's a demo, but... The little things, right? It's a trap disarming kit. The description says try using it to use it to try disharming a trap. But that's the... I'm sure a lot of gamers don't care about that nitpicky stuff. Um, do I choose one of these? I guess... Oh, this is the loot I got, huh? While exploring, you might want to know what lies ahead instead of finding out the hard way. The Echo of the Child is a tool meant specifically for this. There are many different tools, each with a particular function. Some can be used at any moment during exploration, others in particular situations. Use it to reveal the content of the next two rooms in each direction. Sure. Oh, there's just, you click it and it's done. Uh, I assume this is random, this is battle. What is this? Position, oh, what is this? Disarm a trap. Are there any traps? No. Okay, what are you? A foot. Enemies and special events are only the only thing you have to look out for. Sometimes you might encounter traps. I tried using that trap thing. Um... You'll have to disarm or evade them. Select an option. Oh, I see. I have to use it here. Uh, I'll take 75 or 35. Hey, we did it. This must be a battle. Okay. Get behind me. Magni is another playable character. His mechanic is called Rage. He needs to spend Rage points. He gains one point by playing two Ruby cards and two points when he's hit by an attack. You have some pent-up rage, so you can use his skill. Okay. Give three armor to all allies. Sure. Is this his rage? Yes. Your character has a healing potion. Okay. Okay. 
Each deck contains a legendary card. They usually have a diamond crystal. Ooh, fancy. All allies gain, what is Phalanx and Tenacity? Phalanx buff damage is reduced, Tenacity. On next turn, draw an extra card for each attack received. Understood. Yeah. Kill the enemy by the end of the turn? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You left me no AP. Let's dance then! Okay. Does it show me my debuffs? Your curse. Damage dealt is reduced by 20%. Do I Oh right, the turn order. Okay, so she's next. Single enemy. I wanna use different gems. Let's use a diamond thingy. Where does it shay say shay? Say the little gem things it was talking about. It wants me to use one of each gem. I don't see where that is unless it's this. Must be this because it had three segments of that thing. Um, I played another non-ruby card this turn. Oh, we did it. That was easy. Okay. Draft your way to victory. Okay. After each battle, you'll be offered a selection of neutral cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Random enemy deals six damage. All allies gain two armor. Single enemy curse two deal eight damage. Well, that seems good for one AP, right? That's. I don't understand why I'd want this card unless there's like hidden or stealth enemies. Uh, let's. I want this. Oh, I have to pick who it's on. Let's put it on you. Oh, I pick one per person? Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I didn't get any loot. Moving on. There's some elements I think are cool. I like the, this little dungeon-y thing. Um, the gem thing could be interesting, I guess. Sometimes you can find lucky arcana events while exploring and granted boons. Small chance of encountering them, which rises every time you discover other events. Once you find an arcana, the probability resets. Okay. Ask for power. What? I'm not going to read these poems to you folks. I'm not Edgar Allan Poe. Um, party starts the next two battles with blessing. Ooh, full healed. That was great. Oh, the next... I think the next room is a boss room. Holy crap, that's a lot of enemies. Ishana is the last playable character of the game. Her mechanic is called Thirst. She thirsty. Whenever she kills an enemy or plays specific cards, she will gain a thirst point, summoning the beast Limodes. These points can be spent however. Ah, uh, that's a lot of, hold on. I gotta think this through. Okay, she kills or plays specific cards, she gets thirst. Thirst can power up her cards, and if you get five of them, it's really good. Play the card The Beast Within. It has Gouge. Like, oh, interesting. So it's like a deck thinning mechanic within the battle? Okay. Can I s Oh yeah, their HP's up here. Can we attack Flagellitum? Oh wait, this is on her? Gouge one card. What don't I want? Uh, sure. Now that you have Limides, that is not the pet thing I was expecting. Was it pet? Beast? You can use the alternate effect of your cards by spending a thirst point. When the counter reaches zero, Limides will disappear. What counter? Not that counter. Not that counter. Maybe this counter? Alright. Merciless Whip. Single enemy. Deal nine damage, and I get a thirst. I want it. Wait, I want it. Oh, it's all of them. Sweet. I have mastered all the necessary elements of the game. I sure haven't, but okay, if you say so. All right, enter. Salvation by my hands. So it's this chick's turn. I don't. Where are we in the turn order? Oh, I guess she went, this guy went, now she goes? Yeah, that must be right. Okay. What is repost? Counterattack the next attack received. That could be useful. Um, 
Oh, this is kind of cool, like the little animated. I assume that means it's attacking everyone. This is just attacking this. We're gonna try to kill this thing. Can I do 10 damage? I can. So let's kill that thing. Okay. Maybe the art isn't as bad as I thought. There's there's something a little off about the art, but I guess it's not. It's fine. Um, does this mean I can use this for free? Because it's got the zero there. Uh, let's... Do I need to heal 2 HP? What's my max HP? 36 out of 38. Sure. Let's try it out. Swift one card. Uh, I don't need you. Let's attack this thing. Swift one card. This thing. Alright, my turn. Alright, sir. Can you do 10 damage? Nope. 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 Hmm. Am I gonna have to hard overkill? I don't want this thing. Man, that sucks. I think so. Alright. I just didn't want it to attack all of my people. You know? What is this thing? Give three armor to all allies. I forget. Can I use this every battle? Nah, whatever. Alright. Aha! I can't, but you want to. Single enemy, seven damage. Ooh. Is this gonna do 20 damage or 16? I have a beast summon, so let's see if it does 20 damage. 24? Okay, I didn't. Okay, it's fine. Gouge two cards. Wow, that was weird. Um, okay, you're done. Is there like a damage and heal? No, wishful thinking. Okay, whatever. Da da da. Boss? I guess the uh, religious ish overtones make sense considering the name of the game. Alright. Chapter 1. Oh, that was chapter 0. Journey's end at last. You wish this. I was about to say this is <laughs> that wasn't so a journey. That's the it's so shiny. This is the most sacred place on earth, and the only thing you can say is it's so shiny. <laughs> good to see you two in such good spirits. We still have a way to go after all. Oh. Step by step, the tower drew closer. Immaculately white against the barren plain, its masonry formed a tight reticle that enveloped the sacred building. And then, the grand portal opened, flanked by its two armored guardians. A stern-looking old man stepped forward. Charon? Charon? Herald of the Divine Child. It is cool that the main characters have uh, voice acting. I think I mentioned that earlier, but all of them have voice acting. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, thank you for receiving us, most revered. Damn, I wish my abs looked like that. Oh, I didn't know that someone could live at the point of having such a wrinkly face. What? Is being the Herald something that special, sir? Damn you! You chattering idiot. <laughs> His face isn't that wrinkly. Ooh. She got burned. Suspended arcs and pillars weave together in a majestic show, all was illuminated by the perpetual light of the altar of Vesta. Four statues of ancient heroes were encircling the throne. A rose window representing the four vestals glistened solemnly just above it. It looked magnificent when the light shone through it. You, oh, this must be a journal. Over there you will find your chambers as well as the merchant sent here to provide for your needs. Cool. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. So there's a little bit of backstory if people are interested. That's that's good. We will meet again later in the presence of the Divine Child. Through your sacrifice, may your people atone. Through our fratricide, may life be reborn. Um, isn't... Fratricide is killing a sibling, I think. <laughs> or... Welcome to the Equinox Cathedral, home of the faithful and main hub of the game. Something is awaiting you in the quarters. Go check it out. Sure. Oh, I was selfishly hoping there'd be like a little third person walking around, but that's okay. That's too much to ask. A sitting sack? What? We call that a beanbag chair. <sighs> Whatever. It's just a stupid pillow. You do not talk that way about beanbags. Ah, so soft. Oh, something is spilling out. Stop covering the whole room in ashes? Seriously, what's up with you? Have you been living under a rock this whole time? Maybe? It was a shack near a mountain, so in a certain way it was under a rock, I think? Forget I asked. Sacks or pillows? Enjoy them while you can. Does this piece of hair get in the way when he's looking at things? I should trim it. We won't have much rest once the war begins. The small talk was cut short by the sound of the gate portal opening once again. Curious to see where the commotion came from, the group moved out of their quarters and went to the entrance of the cathedral. Out of that gate came a young woman, black hair that gracefully danced in the air with every step of hers, and a sharp, bewitching gaze. Following close behind, two severe-looking warriors strode forward with pride. The Vestal of Sentia and her guardians had arrived. Is this my welcoming party? Honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better one. I'm glad to see you here in one piece, Enra. It's been a while, Lyra. <laughs> Such a cold reception. You're breaking my heart, darling. After all these years, I expected you to be a tad happier to see me. What do you want me to do? Should I uh, jump into your arms, screaming, Greetings, O oh great Vestal of Sentia? Oh, <laughs> I would be delighted. So there's a lot of story going on. I may fast forward through some of it just to see if we can see more of the hub or combat since I think we're over 20 minutes in at this point. Uh, sure. Oh, really? Yeah, we don't have time to waste here. Later, Anra. Who's Anra? What the? He just puts a mask on for no reason? That's spooky. I wonder if this is a very story-based game. Could be. I don't know. Who's Anra? Hey, I just asked that. Ooh. Oh. I don't know what this button does, but I pressed it. Ooh. Yikes. She's a little catty. Oh, there's a bell ringing. Right. Let's go to the hall. Yes, I agree. Perhaps. Alright. Divine Child is waiting for the throne. Go check info about your next mission. Alright. This is... Ooh, that is a cool throne. I like it. Quests instruction. Remarkable. Behold our... <laughs> That's the divine child. <laughs> so I guess they're trying to instill a little humor in this game. That's good. All right, we're we're motoring through this. I apologize if you can hear me furiously kick clicking my mouse. What? Come on. What? 
Yeah, we got a war to wage. All right. Mission objective. Find all the keys and reach the exit. Mission rewards. One mission, three mission, four missions? I don't... I don't know what that means. Do I click one of these? No, I guess maybe I just go back. To leave the hub, click on the dungeon selection icon. Where is that? Ah. Start your first quest. To do so, click over the Naraka. If you want to return to the hub, click on... Yeah, let's go there. Ah, uh, each dungeon has four different depths. Each needs to be completed in order to proceed to the next. Click on Enter Dungeon to start your adventure. Free supplies! Hooray! That removes a debuff. Protection against blasphemy. Alright. So there's different levels to each dungeon. Interesting. See? That's the kind of info I want. Seems like a fairly fleshed out demo, which is neat. The landscape passing beneath them was alight with small refractions. We skipping. Sorry, folks. Okay. Each dungeon is composed of different floors with its own special conditions. You'll have to adapt your strategy if you want to survive. Um, floor effects. Each character draws an extra card. Uh, that seems good. Draft your destiny. 13 damage. Random. I don't... Can I see... M it's one of my big pet peeves if you can't... I hate it when you cannot see um, the current deck, like while you're choosing cards. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to right click in and everything. Oh, that sucks. All right, I don't know who has neutral cards, so you needed more damage. You can do this random thing and you can, oh, yeah, sure. So I can't skip any of that, huh? Okay. Uh, debuff trap. Okay, so nothing lets me scout ahead. As Timo would say, I'll scout ahead. Sometimes you might encounter events where there seems to be no right choice. If you have it available, you can break a tablet of protection and avoid the event altogether. Ah, it says blasphemous up here. Um, sure. Okay, so can I look around? Oops, no, you can't. Oh wait, the zooming is very slow, but you can indeed look around. Um, I'll do a little exploring. Not on my watch. During each battle, you have the option to complete a bonus mission. Each mission you complete will help you gather better rewards. Kill an enemy that has two or more debuffs. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what this symbol means. What does that mean? I don't know. Also, I don't recall if I've ever played a game like this where your characters are on the right side. That's kind of throwing me for a loop. I mean, it's not its not a big deal at all. But. Uh, whose turn is it? This guy's. Self lose five armor, but if I don't have armor, then what? This thing is attacking all my things. Let's see what happens if I lose five armor. Oh, cool. Nothing. Berserk Purge. No. Smash. Deals extra damage if the target has armor. I mean, whatever. I want to try to get rid of her. I don't think I'll be able to, honestly. Um, okay, we have to save them. What is this? Gain one thirst, gouge one card. I don't remember how to summon the beast. 
Gain one thirst, lose two armor, add a rat and hex card. And that sounds terrible. Let's just press the attack. I should have attacked this thing first, because it's going last. Oh no, wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh well. Oh, I got that. How did I don't remember how I got that thing. Um, I want to gain a thirst and gouge a card. I don't want this thing. All right. You're already dead. Unfortunate. I don't want that. I don't want that. What does she have? Can I do 11 damage? No, but I can heal myself. Um, I don't need that. How do I get extra damage? Deal two extra damage for each card with Swift played this turn. So this has Swift. So I can bless this thing. Chuck that. And if I played my cards right, ha! <laughs> that was funny. I did a funny. Uh, perfect. Oh, we strategically did. All right, I have two turns before he goes, and he is. What is that? A buff? I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't want to use all my stuff. So I have one attack. I might as well. Gain HP? What is Phalanx? Buff damage. I don't know if that means he's gonna buff. Protector. Protect an ally from next. Uh, okay. What is Repost? I mean, whatever. Just heal yourself, man. Enter. Um. I don't want that. Leech. Ooh, I like leech. And this. Do that. Do that. Look at that. We full for now. So that was a buff. How do I see what his buffs are? Oh, it's up here. Critical chance increase, damage dealt, lose 2 HP at the start of the turn. I mean... Unless he goes first, I should be able to kill him. Hmm. This press the attack card is very not great. Okay. Oh, what's this? How the heck did I get this? Is it, oh, it must have just been in the deck. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about the in-mission achievement, or in-battle achievement, whatever. Okay. Wow, I totally thought this was a horse head at first. We were wrong. Self-gain hatred. The next card played will trigger its effect twice. Interesting. Deal four damage for each hex card in the character hand. So this, she had hexes. Single enemy, deal nine damage, bleeding two. Um, I'm gonna give this to him, and yeah. Okay. All right, we'll do one more battle or scenario or something, and then I think we'll call it. Um, might get a small loot. Let's might get a small loot. Nothing happens. Great. Rude. I can't. But you want Young to. Silva. This your boy, Young. Uh, I don't think I can deal 25 damage right now. Again, I don't know how to summon that thing. It's gotta... No. What is pity? Huh. I'm gonna hit this thing. Okay, I didn't summon that thing. Thirst is... Oh, maybe it's Thirst. Dang it. Yep, it is Thirst. Okay, well, you live and learn. No. 
now the tree goes. No big deal. I smash this thing because we're all about the deeps. Did that say way of the bodybuilder? No, that couldn't have. Um, let's protect. We protect. Let's dance then. And she deals decent damage. Ooh, is she weakened? What is this? Yes, she is. Okay. I like this. Let's do that. I'm not gonna be able to do eleven. Uh, eight. Eight. Oh, ten. Oh, right. She takes extra damage. Swift one card doesn't matter. I've not noticed if I deal? keep the same cards. Uh, I don't think I. Or do I? I don't know. I should have paid better attention. My bad. Um, man, this is super annoying. I want to play another non-ruby card, but oh, this thing is dead. So let's let's get some armor. Why not? Because that is attacking everything, and we kill that. All right. Swift one card short. So if we get to her, I gotta remember that this was the fourth card. I don't know if we'll make it back to her. No, we won't. I think it's 25 HP. Oh! Oh no, it has a bunch of armor. We might. Okay, beast is summoned. Oh man, I don't want any of these cards. I legit don't want any. Do I have that gouge? No, I don't have the gouge. Oh wait, this gouge one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want that thing. Oh, that's I, I was thinking of Swift. Darn it. Um, what does Curse do? Yeah, let's just do this. So is it cursed? It's not cursed. It's bleeding. Okay. My sin is my strength. All right. I want big deeps. Big deeps. None of this is big deeps. Absolutely none of this is big deeps. This guy needs big deeps. Alright. Press the attack. Do I look so the merciful turn you? order reverses or randomizes? Oh, right, but you can see one turn ahead. Okay, fair enough. That. That. And bingo, bango, bongo. Alright. Hey, we got some bones. Okay. What is this? One mission? Why did we get this now? Or why is this not grayed out? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Alright, do a draft and then we will call it because this video is running long. Remove one random buff. Uh, you need better damage. You can't skip these, which is really annoying. Like, I can't just click done. Uh, I hope there's a deck thinning mechanic, otherwise... Bleh. Um... Couch... Sure. Alright, so, anyways, this is Shattered Heaven. It's definitely got some interesting uh, mechanics or components to it. There is a little bit of, I think, polish it needs here and there from a, just a QAing standpoint. Um, I mentioned some of the art, so I'm not going to go over that again. But uh, it's definitely got some promise. It's a game I'd consider keeping an eye out on, um, seeing how it develops, what updates they make, etc. Um, I will drop a Steam link to this uh, in the video description for those interested. Uh, with that, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Peace out, everyone.